everyone now we shall start unit 10 that is profit and loss but before going ahead i would like to discuss few important points with you related to the chapter so let's see first is cost price now what is cost price the price or money paid by the shopkeeper to buy the goods products or you can say things from the manufacturer manufacturer is the person who makes the things okay is called cost price of goods so the price paid by the shopkeeper to buy the goods from the manufacturers is called cost price of goods now what is selling price the price at which shopkeeper sells the goods to us is called selling price means sp now short form of cost price is cp and short form of selling price is sp now there are few things to be kept in mind and those are when selling price is more than the cost price the shopkeeper earns profit when selling price is less than the cost price the shopkeeper bears a loss therefore we can say when sp is greater than cp he earns a profit and if sp is less than cp then he bears a loss now how to find profit and loss so let me tell you if you have to find profit then sp minus cp this formula should be used so we can use this formula sp minus cp if selling price is more than cost price then what is the formula for finding loss it is cp minus sp when cost price is more than the selling price at that time this formula is used that is cp minus sp now next is how to find cp and sp so in case of profit what to do sp is cp plus profit in case of cp we have to use sp minus profit so in case of profit if we have to find sp cp plus profit will be used and to find cp sp minus profit this formula will be used now what to do in case of loss so in case of loss to find sp we have to use cp minus loss and to find cp we will use sp plus loss okay so these are the formulas that we will use to find cp and sp means cost price and selling price now next is how to find profit percent and loss percent so in case you need to find profit percent then formula will be profit upon cp multiply by 100 then you will put the values in this and you will solve and get the answer now in case of loss percent formula will be loss upon cp into 100 means loss divided by cp into 100 this is the formula that you have to use so i hope you would have understood these formulas that we will be using in the chapter profit and loss thank you